What's up, everybody? It's another great day in the garage. Today, what I'm gonna be doing is installing some Flow Series lights from Lighting Trends into a Dodge Charger. So, you know, let's get to it. <laughs> series lights. We also have the extensions, a power source, a driver, and I will also show you the Bluetooth controller. Here is our Bluetooth controller. If you look, it even has a QR code on it to download the app that will be controlling the lights. So the headlights are out and now we're going to put the headlights in the oven. Usually put them in the oven at, you know, anywhere from 200, whatever you want. Just don't go over 270 degrees. Uh, but yeah, my sweet spot is about 250 to 270 degrees Fahrenheit. And I put them in the oven for about five to eight minutes. While the headlights are in the oven, what I'm going to do now is test my lights. What I'm gonna do is just mock up everything just to make sure all the lights work so we can go ahead and install them. I have everything connected. That's the Bluetooth controller right there. And then the four corresponding plugins for each strip of diodes. I have my driver connected to my power source and now I'm gonna plug in the fuse to the positive and the ground to the negative. Three, two, one. They all work. Now let's get some colors going. A set of Flow Series BRLs. Since we've tested our lights and they're working fine, what we're gonna do now, while it's in the oven again, is get ready to install the lights and its power source connected to the battery, and then get our wiring ran. Go ahead and disconnect each wire. As you can see, this is the way the Bluetooth controller is connected. And every LED, every, every diode is connected to its individual spot. So this is pretty much what we wanna do. We wanna test out and make sure everything can go where it's supposed to. Figure out how we're gonna mock this up. We can drop it lower if we want to. Maybe we can drop it right here. We'll wire it this way. And then we'll have our wires going under like so. But what we're gonna do is we're gonna wire it to where we can access this fuse still and be able to um, pull that fuse if need be. Now our power wire is gonna go under this. We're gonna disconnect this and run our power wire under there. And our ground wire, it should be a grounding lug up either up here or down somewhere else that we can ground this to. There's even one down there. But for ease of access, we're going to run it to the grounding lug right here. Always have your tools ready. I use a couple of flat heads and then a splitter. You squeeze and it opens instead of squeezing and closing. So I have those and then we grab my gloves. Over here are my heat resistant gloves. So I'm gonna put these on and then let's go get those headlights. On some headlights, you do have to remove screws. So just be sure that you remove all the screws. All right, the headlights are now out of the oven and right now I am trying to pry them open. I'm going to be using my flathead, separating the plastic from the actual glue. Oh, that's nice. 
Oh, I got the clip. Yep, everything's nice. There we go. See that? That's the headlight one. If your headlights are not opening, put them back in the oven for a round two. And there is a headlight lens removed. So nice. So what I'm doing now is removing everything from the headlight so that I can put DRLs in. Once I remove everything, I'm going to take the plastic portion and start drilling holes into it so that I can mount the DRLs. Reporting live from the Ideal Auto Factory head cam. We're about to put the lights on our DRL, little plastic shroud, whatever you want to call it. And uh, I pre-drilled some holes to get some things done, but uh, for the most part, we're just gonna, you know, enjoy the music and, you know, watch me work. All right, this may be a little too fast for you guys to see what's actually happening. So just slow down the playback speed. All right, so what you have to do next is you got to get your wiring over here from the passenger side all the way to the driver's side. It comes with extensions. So what I'm going to do with these is connect them here and run them over here. So right behind me, we have a fully installed Flow Series DRL set up on a Dodge Charger. As you can see, I'm sporting my gray crew neck sweatshirt, you know what I'm saying, sweater. You pick those up too, by the way. On the website, but uh, yeah, the install's finished, everything's good. Let me, let me just bring you in closer so you can see everything that was done. Here's the full install. We have this 3M mounted here. We have all of our wiring going down. They're all waterproofed, tight, looking nice. We have a fuse accessible. I moved my ground down here so this could look a little more factory. So I took the ground from over there and I moved it down there. And then we have a Bluetooth controller. As you can see, it's not moving. It is mounted to basically this, but it's right here. And then there goes our wires. That's the only wires you see other than over there. And all of our connections are watertight. Shouldn't be anything getting in there, causing any problems. Yeah, there you go. This has been a successful install. Looks really good.